Sorry guys, this lesson is specifically for Mac users. So one of my favorite markdown tools is an app called Mart. And this is a little bit different in that it's not an editor specifically. It's only a viewer. And that way you can use whichever editor you most prefer. Now it's not free, but it's only $3.99. And I'll show you in this lesson how we can use it with Sublime Text. And it can be pretty cool. So the first step, of course, is to download it. Once you have downloaded it and you open it up, you're really not going to see anything here. You'll find you can't create a new file. That's not what it's for. Instead, you open a file. So why don't we open this sample file test article? Now you'll see I can't edit this. It's just a viewer. But it does offer some nice conveniences. First, you can view a number of different themes using Apple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And it also has the ability to display code snippets. So let's go into Sublime Text, and I'm going to have this setting where we have Keep Window on Top. And now, even when I'm working in my editor, this will always float above so we can make changes. And as I save it, Mart will automatically update. So my first article, save, and then that will update in the sidebar. So let's add some GitHub style comments, something like this. Var name equals John Doe. Now you'll see that we do have GitHub style code highlighting. Great. So this is really good when creating, for example, your GitHub documentation. But one thing that stinks is maybe we're editing this file in Sublime, but we have to then go over to Marked and then open the file. Well, there are some extras where we can do this instantly with Sublime Text. If I go back to the Marked website and I click on Extras, there is a bonus pack here that we can download. So we'll just go ahead and grab that right now. And if I unzip this and open it up, we have a handful of tools. But the one that we're obviously interested in is Sublime. So this is a custom Sublime build file. So we need to move this into our packages directory. Let's do it this time directly from the desktop by going to go, go to folder, and we'll go into library, application support, Sublime Text 2, packages, user. And now I will paste that in. Great. So I can delete these. And now if I go back to Sublime and I go to Tools, Build System, you'll see that for Markdown files, we now have this new build. So now if I hit Build by pressing Command B or whatever your editor says for Build under Tools, that will automatically open the file in Mart. Great. So let's put this to the test. We have our Markdown file. We're going to bring this into Sublime Text. Next, we're going to make some changes. And when we want to view this, we hit build. That opens it up in Mart. It's going to float over the editor. And then I can continue on. And every single time I save, Mart is going to be updated. So yeah, it's a simple convenience, but I use it all the time. And I recommend that you do too.